we start out with a normal cast on and two shoulder stitches and the setup row for the cable lifted increase will have to be for front and back because there's nothing underneath where we could lift anything so we just set out to knit to marker knit through front and back slip marker mark the shoulder stitches slip marker oopsie and knit through front and back I will show this holding the yarn in the right hand have a first lifted increase row falls onto a wrong side <clears throat> now we work to the marker and don't lift up from this last work stitch but the one before which would cause the cabling to happen so we take pick up the stitch two stitches below and pull this across and that is all there's to it pull that first stitch is a bit tight but that'll get easier as you go along and that's it now shoulder stitches and work to the forward lifted increase so not from this but from that take the pearl bump below lift it onto the needle now the way this was lifted onto the needle I'll work it through the back of loop so it doesn't twist Pull that and that's all and now to a right side cable lifted increase the first one will be a backwards one again so knit to marker and increase from this stitch here two stitches below I just poke the needle through here and lift it through the back so I've got that pearl bump now on the needle and knit that slip marker back there and now increase from this stitch so put the needle through and ease it back so we've got that power bump on the needle transfer it to the left needle and knit there. and another wrong side power to marker and lift that power bump another second stitch and purl it and a forward increase from this second stitch lift up the purl bump underneath Lift it onto the needle and purl. Again through back of loop so the stitch doesn't twist. And from this stitch insert the needle two stitches below and grab hold of that second purl bump. Here's the first one, there's the second one, and knit. Shoulder stitches 
and slip marker and another forward one. So from this stitch insert the needle to get that purr bump and knit. Now I work to the marker continental style and then I show the increase holding the yarn in the right. right. It's a bit more tricky for me but I demonstrate hope it makes sense. So pick up this pearl bump from the second stitch. The last stitch is neighbour and and in front. <laughs> right. And purl. Slip marker. And lift the stitch below the second stitch onto the needle insert through back so we don't twist and there we go and work to end of row so right side backward increase from this stitch insert the needle two stitches below and pick up the power bump like that. And knit. Slip marker. And now insert the needle below the stitch. Slip that purr bump onto the left needle and knit. Now from the second stitch I will pick up this purr bump the grandmother stitch. This is the stitch, the mother stitch here and the grandmother stitch there. And purl that. And a forward increase. Lift up the mother stitch. Onto the needle, with that through back of loop to stop it from twisting. There. Now insert two stitches below that second stitch. Slip marker. Now the stitch below that. Insert the needle and lift up the power bump. And then next I will set up the sleeve increases. So on the next wrong side row. I move the markers two stitches along to here and there and on the next right side we work the first 
sleeve in place. So I've prepared the sleeve setup, moved the markers two stitches along, so we've got six sleeve stitches and we will do our first lifted cabled increase inside this sleeve area. So we purl to the marker, slip the marker, not purl, we knit. So knit, 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 knit. And we lift this stitch, lift it onto the needle and knit. Again, I will show this with the yarn held in the right in a moment. Work to marker and backward, backward increase from here. So insert the needle two stitches below and grab that purl bump and knit. Slip marker, work to end. Slip the marker, this is our wrong side, increase. So with the forward increase we go to the stitch below, lift that onto the needle and purl through the back of the loop. From below this stitch. And power. Work to end of row. And I'll show this with the yarn held in the right. Knit to marker, slip marker, and forward <coughs> lifted cabled increase from this stitch through the stitch, knit from that lifted stitch. Knit to marker, now we're doing a backward increase from underneath this stitch. Now a forward, lift a cable to increase on the wrong side. You just grab this purl bump and put it on the needle and purl that. Now a backwards lift a cable increase and just get that yarn out of the way so it's easier to see the stitch. So from underneath this stitch we pick up the power bump and pull it. Now after this, let's have a look at what we've done. The beginning of an arm side. Got the shoulder stitches here, the increases. Pretty solid. And also vertically, there's quite a lot of strength in that. <coughs> 